Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I have this giant tub of empty products to go through and give you my reviews. I've got quite a range of beauty products here from skincare, hair care and makeup. Before we get into it though, I do want to tell you that Priceline has started a recycling program for your empty beauty products. Okay, I am so excited about this. This isn't sponsored or anything, I just saw it on Instagram recently and I was like, hallelujah. So you know how like at the grocery store at Woolies and Coles, they have like their soft plastics recycling program? Well, Priceline now has a program called TerraCycle, where you can take all your empty beauty products, well not all of them, there's still um, like rules, but most of them you can take and it is so exciting. I'll put a link down below in the description box where you can go and read about it because I think it is such a great initiative and I personally know that I feel super guilty when I finish these empty videos and I go and throw all this in the bin. I'm like, yikes. When it comes to environmental matters, I'm just glad that there are programs like this that we can all do our little part to help. First up, I have some deodorant and this is by the brand Schmitz. Now this is a natural deodorant, so it has no aluminium, no propylene glycol, and no artificial fragrance. I have found natural deodorants to work better for me. I do speak about this in every empties video because I fly through these deodorants that one of my armpits sweats more than the other. And these deodorants, like natural deodorants, are the only ones that I have found that actually stop the stankiness. I've loved the Schmitz brand for years, but I started to find my armpits were getting a little bit irritated. It does work really well, but sometimes the formula can be a bit rough because it is kind of like a hard, oh, like a stiff, it's not a cream, but like, I don't know how to explain it, but it can be a little bit rough on the underarm sometimes. So although I do love this brand and definitely recommend it, I thought it was time I tried something different. So I end up picking up the Kindly Lavender and Bergamot Natural Deodorant and I found this at Chemist Warehouse and I really, really enjoyed it. I have already repurchased, but I did pick up a different scent. This one is a roll-on, so it's much more gentle on the underarms and it does a fantastic job at stopping my one sticky armpit from stinking. Now with natural deodorants, you still perspire, but it stops the BO. So if you're into that or you don't mind that you still perspire, then I think you will love natural deodorants. I am going to continue with the kindly ones for now, just so that my armpits don't get as irritated. But as I said, I absolutely recommend the Schmitz. They do a really, really good job. Another product that I just fly through are the Neutrogena moisturizers. So here I have one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and I have two more in my bathroom that I'm about to finish up. So I've got the gel cream that I use in the mornings and then I've got the night concentrate that I use at night. So these moisturizers, what I love about them is that they are so lightweight. I love the way that the gel consistency feels on the skin. It's not too heavy at all. And I use this moisturizer throughout the whole year. So summer and winter. In winter, I definitely use some other moisturizers as well that are a little bit more rich. But for day to day, I find that these do the job no matter what. If you have extremely dry skin, these may not be enough for you, but if you have combination to oily skin, I think you will really like them because, again, they're just so light. The difference with the Night Concentrate is that it has little, I think they're like moisture beads in it, so it does give you a bit more hydration, but I absolutely love this stuff. As you can see, I fly through it. I use it every morning and every night, and it keeps my skin feeling fresh, hydrated, and plump. I love it. Moving into some makeup, I actually used up an entire bronzer. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> so this here is the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Barley Sands. Now, as we're probably all aware by now, Becca has gone out of business, which is a real bloody shame because this bronzer 
is my favorite. I already have another one because I bought it ages ago as a backup and I did wear this on my wedding day. But in a nutshell, it's a very smooth, creamy, buttery formula. It has the perfect amount of sheen and it's the perfect shade for my fair skin. There was quite a few in the range, which I really like when it comes to bronzers because then I can go for something that's a bit more light and neutral cool rather than extremely warm. But yeah, it's a shame you can't get this anymore. There might be a few websites where it's lying around, but this bronzer was amazing and I just, I'm so proud of myself for using up an entire bronzer. Next, I have some mascaras starting with the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. This is in the brown shade and it is fabulous. It's a really true, rich, chocolatey brown. There's no hint of black at all. And I love this for days when I'm just doing like a natural makeup look or like a real no makeup makeup look. My lashes are blonde without anything on. So when they're not tinted, this is the perfect mascara to just add a little bit of something, but it doesn't look like I've got a ton of heavy black mascara on. This kind of wand is my absolute favorite. It's got that hourglass shape to it. It's nice and full and fluffy. It works so well for my lashes. It lengthens them and volumizes them. And I definitely recommend this mascara. Another brown mascara I have is the Inoxa 3-in-1 Lash Enhancing Mascara. Now again, this is a really nice shade of brown, but the formula really didn't do much for me. It has a pretty basic wand on it. I found though that it just didn't give me enough volume. It lengthened them quite nicely, but the volume just wasn't there. So unfortunately, I don't recommend this one. Next, I've got some concealers, starting with the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer. Now, this concealer was pretty good for its price. It's in the shade Ivory, and it was super fair, which is fantastic, because I'm pretty sure they only make like three, maybe four shades. It was a nice concealer, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. I just think there are better ones out there, but... It was all right. Another concealer I have here is the Maybelline Age Rewind. And I, I slept on this for a really long time. And only recently did I pull it back out of my collection. And oh my God, no wonder people rave about this so much. It's amazing. First of all though, I freaking hate this packaging. Like this sponge, it just gets all messy. Oh, oh, I just don't, don't like it. But the formula is fantastic. It has a really nice high, medium, full coverage. The formula is creamy, but I find that it sets down quite quickly, which again is giving you that nice full coverage. I like that it didn't settle into my fine lines too much, and it really is a fantastic drugstore concealer. Definitely recommend. Another concealer I have, which I have to throw out, is the Emco Beauty Instant Concealer. This is their Camouflage and Contour. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me speaking about this recently. I went to use it and it has just separated. Like it's actually just water on the inside and it looks like it's curdled. <laughs> I don't know what the F happened here, but I actually had a lot of you guys respond to my Insta stories saying that the same thing happened to you. Now this concealer isn't that old, so I didn't know what was going on. I have never seen a concealer in my collection do this. Emco did see my stories and they reached out and just said, oh, you must have gotten a bad batch, but because it happened to so many people, like, yeah, I think it was a pretty big bad batch but they have offered to send me a, another concealer to try out and see how that goes, which I thought was really nice of them. But when it comes to this concealer, I did like the formula. The shade was a little bit dark for me, but I did like the formula, but I wouldn't recommend it now because I don't know what the F is going on with it. Next, I have some sunscreens to talk about. Starting off with one of my favorites. This is the Cancer Council Face Day Moisturizer. And this is a 50 plus facial sunscreen. What I like about this is it's really lightweight. So it doesn't feel heavy or thick at all on the skin. It's quite affordable and it goes on sale very often at Priceline or Chemist Warehouse and it's fragrance free, which I really like. You can also get a tinted version. I haven't tried that, but 
I really like this and it actually comes in a bigger bottle as well, which I've started buying because between Clinton and I, we just fly through these. Another sunscreen I really enjoyed is the Essential C Day Moisture by Murad. Now this one is only a 30 plus and it is quite pricey considering it's from Murad, but it was a beautiful sunscreen. Again, very lightweight, more lightweight than the Cancer Council, I would say. I probably wouldn't repurchase this because it's pretty expensive, but the formula was great and I do recommend it if you're willing to spend the money on it. And then I have the La Roche Posay, is that how you say it? 50 plus Anthelius Ultra. I don't know, this is it here. Now this one, I did not like. It's fragrance free, which is great. And you think having a pump would be a good idea, but I actually don't like the pump because once you start getting to the end of it, you know there's product in there, but it's not coming out because you've got to have the product this way instead of this way where you could just squeeze the rest out. You know what I mean? So it was really difficult to get the last bit of sunscreen out of there. And this one was a thicker formula, which I really don't prefer when it comes to facial sunscreens. They just feel a bit too heavy on me. I found that I had to use a lot to get enough coverage as well. Whereas the other ones, because they are so lightweight, they spread really easily. This, I had to use like four pumps to get the coverage of sunscreen that I was after. And it's not a very big bottle either. How much was it? What was it? 50 mils. So yeah, yeah, wouldn't buy it again. Next, I have a few brow products. <laughs> Clearly one thing I fly through. Starting off with the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencils. I have one in the shade Soft Brown and two in the shade Blonde. I do prefer the Blonde shade. Now, what I love about this pencil is the micro tip. So this is how small the tip is and I just love that for brows. I love that you can be really precise with where you want your brow to be and it does a really good job at drawing in little strokes. You've got a spoolie on the other end to help blend out the product. The formula of this is perfect too. It's not too waxy where you have to apply a lot of pressure, but it's not too creamy where the product moves and slides around. It just glides on, it stays in place, and that is the reason I've gone through so many. Next, I have the Rimmel Wonderful Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Light. I really enjoyed this brow gel. So it comes with a nice tiny little applicator, which I love. And this product done a really good job at adding that texture and fluffiness to my brows. So it's got fibers in there that get all over your little brow hairs and just make them look so much more full. It does have a tint to it, which I found worked really well for my fair brows, and it's got the perfect amount of pigment. I hate brow gels that are too pigmented, you just get color everywhere, it's like, ah, too much. This just worked perfectly, and I would definitely repurchase. Next, I have some brow pens, which have become my new favorite brow product, a must have, in my opinion. So this one here is from Emco Beauty, and it's the Feathering Touch brow pen. I really, really enjoy this one, but I can never find it at Woolies anymore. They used to always have it, and now I can only see it online, which is kind of annoying because I don't want to pay for shipping. <laughs> but anyway, this is in the shade Blonde, and it works really nicely for my brows. It has a nice, fine brush tip, which just leaves really tiny, precise strokes that, again, add that fullness and fluffiness to your brows. And then the other one I have is by Essence, and this is the Tiny Tip precise brow pen. Now this one, I think I love the formula even more, but they don't have the light shade here in Australia. So this one is actually a felt tip applicator and it's even thinner. So you can be even more precise with your strokes. It just looks so good, but they only have the two shades, medium brown and dark brown. I can get away with medium brown, but I do feel like my brows do look a bit more bold than when I use the Emco. I just love this formula. I love the felt tip applicator. It is fantastic and it's only $5. Five freaking dollars. Go Essence. All right, this is gonna be a long video, guys. I'm only like halfway through the products I have here. 
Into some more skincare. I have two of the Skinstitute Gentle Cleansers. This has become my new daily cleanser. I use it morning and night. It's a gel formula and it just works great. It doesn't leave my skin feeling too dry. It leaves it feeling nice and hydrated and plump. It does a great job at removing any leftover makeup and it just makes my skin feel clean. I really, really love it. And it comes in a nice big bottle as well. I purchased this from Adore Beauty. You can usually find a discount code somewhere and free shipping, which is really good. And they also always put a Tim Tam in your package. A skincare product I could not live without is the Paula's Choice BHA liquid. Now this is a liquid exfoliant and it contains salicylic acid. So this is really great if you suffer from breakouts, big blackheads, like really full pores or texture. Oh my God, if you have texture, this is gonna change your life. I have been using this product for years. Like I'm gonna say at least eight years. It just does such a good job. If I ever feel like I've got a bit of texture coming through, it's when I haven't been using this. It just smooths out your skin like nothing else. If you suffer from blackheads, it really gets into your pores and cleans them out. So you are going to notice less blackheads when you're using this product. It's really lightweight. I apply it just by using a cotton pad. You don't need to rinse it off. I do use it in the PMs only. And once your skin gets used to using a BHA, it's something you can definitely use daily. I do, but if you're first starting out, I would take it slow. You can get different strengths as well. I definitely recommend checking out Paula's Choice. Her skincare line is so good. I've tried so many different products and I've never had one that like completely ruined my skin or I really hated. Another product from Skin Institute, I actually used up this sample, which is a damn good sample size. It's 50 mils. I actually went and picked up the bigger size after I used this. Anyway, this is the Glycolic Scrub 14%. So this one is a physical exfoliant as opposed to a chemical exfoliant. So it does have that rough texture that really smooths and buffs out the skin. Now I don't use this often. I only use it if I'm breaking out quite a bit or if my skin just feels textured and rough. As soon as I've used it, my skin feels so much more smooth and just super clean, but definitely go in gently and don't be using it every day. A product that I really hated was the Neutrogena Deep Clean Cleansing Oil. Now I picked this one up because I was like, hell yeah, it's got a pump. That's so good. And I have seen people talk about it on Instagram, but oh my God, I hated it. It stung my eyes like crazy. And when you're trying to remove your makeup, that's just not good enough. I found it left my skin feeling oily. I just was not a fan. It's a no from me. I couldn't even use it up. I was like, nah, it's gotta go now. A skincare ingredient that I really love and I see big changes when I incorporate into my routine is a vitamin C. So I have two here by Skin Physics. This is the Oxygen C Vitamin C Brightening Serum. This contains 2.5% vitamin C and 2% niacinamide. I really love this stuff. It's pretty affordable at Priceline. It goes on sale often. And when I use the vitamin C, I just feel like my skin looks brighter. It helps to fade any marks or pigmentation from previous breakouts and it just adds that glow back to my skin. Now, I did also try out this one here by The Ordinary. This is called the Ascorbyl Glucoside Solution, 12%. So a brightening serum with stabilized vitamin C. Now, this one I just didn't like as much. I found it to be a little bit sticky and yeah, I just didn't find the formula to be as easy to use and like as nice to use as the Skin Physics. This one is really lightweight and it just absorbs into the skin really quickly. It doesn't hang around and feel like icky. <laughs> Next, I have the Murad Retinol Renewal Youth Serum and I saw such a good change to my skin when I was using this. I found that it helped decrease the intensity of my fine lines. It was amazing. It's hella expensive. It's like over a hundred dollars, but it worked so well. And you know, I'm getting older. 
I'm nearly 30. Retinol is definitely something that I need in my routine. I did use it sparingly. It's not something I would go in with every night. Again, a retinol is something I found I needed to like work my way up with so that my skin could handle it, but I absolutely love it and it's a must have ingredient in my skincare routine now. Onto some more makeup, I have one of the L'Oreal Infallible Anti Redness Primers. And if you've been around my channel for a while, you would know how obsessed I am with this. I'm actually a little concerned because I keep seeing this in like the discount sections at stores. I saw it at Big W lately in like the little discount pile. I saw it at Chemist Warehouse in their discount pile. I'm like, are they getting rid of that? If L'Oreal are discontinuing this, I'm not going to be pleased. This Anti-redness primer is the best one I have tried. It just neutralizes that redness like no other. It's a very thin, liquidy formula. It absorbs into the skin really quickly. If you have dry skin, it's not the best, but if you have normal combination skin, it works really, really well. And yeah, if you have any information on what's going on with this, leave a comment down below. Another one by L'Oreal that I absolutely love is the True Match Foundation. Now this has such a big shade range. I use 0.5 and porcelain. I love this foundation because I feel like I said lightweight like a thousand times in this video, but it's very lightweight. It has a medium to medium full coverage, a beautiful satin matte finish. Like it just leaves your skin looking gorgeous, like so naturally plump and hydrated. It's beautiful. But at the same time, it is so long lasting, like the best of both worlds. I'm not sure how it goes on oily skin, but on my combo skin, it works really well. And I have used it on my sister's dry skin before, and it looks great on her too. I always have one of these foundations open in my collection. It is just a go-to for me. I freaking love it. Next, I have one of the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veils. And I used to go through these like crazy. Like instead of the Neutrogena moisturizers, it used to be five tubs of the Models Prefer powder. Because I used to go in with a sponge and like pack it onto my face. I still really love this powder, but I use it very differently now. So instead of, like I said, going in with a sponge and packing it on, I like to go in with a brush and just lightly dust it over my face because it just, it has such a beautiful sheen to it. It's not a mattifying powder. It's got a very beautiful glow and it just adds just so much luminosity to the skin. It's really, really beautiful, but I just don't go through it as fast anymore, but I do still really love it. The powder that has actually taken over that one's position as like my all over face powder is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. And I tried this after hearing Taylor Wynn rave about it. I used the shade 120 Fair and oh my God, this powder is so good. The packaging, super cute. And the shade is fantastic for my fair skin. So this is what the shade looks like. And what I love about this powder is that it provides some coverage and it just leaves your skin looking flawless. Like, I don't know what it does. It's got like some magic filter in there. It just smooths and blurs and leaves your skin looking fabulous. Again, I used this powder on my wedding day and it kept my makeup in place all day. It is so long lasting, oils are not coming through and I just love the flawless finish that it gives. So, mm, a must have. Next, I have a blush that I finished up, which I don't, I can't remember the last time I finished a blush, if I ever have, but this is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Coral. It is a very nice corally pink, like it's not too peach, and it has a beautiful, beautiful sheen. It's not like glittery, it just leaves a very nice, like natural flush of color to the cheeks. Really, really nice formula. It's not extremely pigmented, but it builds up well. It's just it's great, and I already have another one open in my collection. Next, I have the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Lip From Within Illuminating Balm. And this is, oh my God, so beautiful. If you love that wet look, like glass skin high, oh, <laughs> highlighter look, you will freaking love this stuff. Now, I end up picking this up in like a duo with a blush instead of the individual one again. And oh my God, it just, the balm formula, it's just different to like a cream 
highlighter. As I said, it just leaves that beautiful wet look and it lasts on your skin all day. It is amazing. And then lastly for makeup, I have the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go Setting Spray. Again, if you've been around my channel for a long time, you would know I have loved this for years. It actually keeps your makeup in place and it smells really nice like cucumbers. It's affordable, it does what it says it's going to do, and it's something I repurchase constantly. Next, I have the Garnier Fructis Papaya Hair Food, and this is a hair mask, but it does say you can use it three ways. So it's got as a conditioner, as a mask, or as a leave-in, so like overnight. I really, really loved this. I found that it wasn't too heavy for my hair. It smells so good and it just left it feeling beautiful and silky and soft. It was really, really nice and I do find that my hair needs that extra hydration sometimes, especially if I am heat styling it often. I do have naturally wavy hair, it can tend to get quite frizzy, so this was just a really nice way to add in some extra hydration and I would definitely repurchase. And then lastly, that's right, lastly, I have the Hideaway Whip Scrub in pink sugar. Now this was gifted to me from a friend and oh my God, it was so nice. So it was like a, I guess whip scrub is the best way to describe it. Like it was a whipped formula, but it had exfoliating granules in it. Not too rough though where it hurts, like the perfect amount. And because it was that whipped formula, it was so hydrating. This lasted a really long time as well. It was just a really beautiful body scrub and something I would definitely repurchase. All right, oh my God, <sighs> that is it. That is everything. I am so excited to take this stuff to Priceline now and recycle it. <laughs> If you've tried any of these products out, leave me a comment down below because I would love to hear your thoughts and have a little chat about it. If you made it to the end of this video, oh my god, fantastic job. Seriously. Leave a flower emoji, any flower emoji, down below in the comments so I know that you made it all the way to the end. Well, I hope you're all having a great day wherever you are. If you want more from me, you can come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. If you are new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me if you hung around my channel and joined my family. I hope you all have a great couple days and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.